Jake Paul KOs Mike Tyson in a travesty that tarnishes boxing. Three or four fights, William Hosea. Although, having said that, two of Tyson's last three fights. Jake Paul knocking out Mike Tyson would be a travesty of boxing, and no true boxing fan would want to see that, according to Eddie Hearn. Millions are expected to watch the 31 year age gap clash but it could cost boxing its reputation. It's a different world, isn't it? This new generation. But good luck to him. I'm sure it will produce good numbers and hopefully Mike Tyson doesn't get hurt because that would be a travesty of boxing," said Eddie Hearn. YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul is set to face heavyweight Mike Tyson on November 15th in a fight that has attracted huge controversy due to the huge age gap, sparked by Tyson's outburst when he was forced to pull out of the July 20th bout due to a stomach ulcer. But organizers, including streaming platform Netflix, have turned a blind eye to the fight being rescheduled. Paul, 27, and Tyson, 58, will share an $80 million, $60 million purse as Netflix marks their first foray into live boxing. Ten-round trip. So, is this going to follow suit? Marky Reggie Gross only lasted one round in his last fight, so maybe not. We shall see. Jose up in the blue, Tyson in the black. We're in Troy, New York. Tyson's 23rd professional fight, 22 unbeaten. So while millions are expected to tune in to watch the fight, promoter Hearn is concerned it could hurt boxing's reputation, telling Sunsport, I don't think there's a single person in boxing who really wants this fight to happen. Formidably powerful. Under, of course, that so they're looking at it from a different angle. Wins they're looking at it from the numbers. Inside. They're looking for a thrill. And First I get three it. minutes. I get that this weird spectacle might do some good numbers. Now. We didn't see but that I think if you really care about fights. the sport and the history of the sport, especially the legacy of one of the greatest got... fighters of all time, that's not something you would consider," he said. Hearn views the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight as a lucrative business opportunity to capitalize on Iron Mike's reputation. I understand their strategy and their business, and if it's numbers, they don't really care about their empathy. I don't think that's something you'd see from a real fighter, he said. Tyson retired in 2005 after suffering two heartbreaking defeats and years of trouble outside the ring. But in 2020, he reformed and returned for an exhibition bout against Roy Jones Jr., which was little more than a sparring session. That won't happen, or so we're told this time around.
as he prepares to face Paul in a professionally sanctioned bout. feeling in that fight against Green. But, uh, Tyson answered any questions about Both men will be drug tested, while Tyson will have to undergo additional brain and heart tests due to his age. Paul is 10 to 1, with only a 2023 20, points loss to Tyson Fury's younger brother Tommy, 25, tarnishing his record. And he plans to put aside his love and respect for knockout hero Tyson, something Hearn and the rest of the fan base fear. Jab maybe to his arm right now. I didn't see that in his, some, some of his earlier fights. But he's still got he's still such a devastating one punch finisher. And already, Isaiah. Still got, he's still such a devastating one punch finisher. And already, Isaiah, well, he slipped early on. That little twitch of the knees, that was definitely not a slip. Harry the ref separates them.